Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just so you know, I did a video yesterday um, down in the studio, you'll see it in a minute, but I used a bit of artistic license on the images. Hey, hope you like them. See you soon guys, keep smiling. Click like and subscribe if you like them. You never know, do you? Yeah, fan, bye for now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, well, the storm actually is coming through, as you know. It's blowing a hoolie, it's lashing down with rain. So where's the best place to be? Here, in the studio. But, time of year is it? Autumn. What do you get? Wonderful colours. And today, I couldn't do a video for start outside because of the, the colours. <laughs> because of the rain and the wind because this camera won't stand it but what I can do is bring the colours indoors so I spent about half an hour yesterday picking up all different sorts of leaves from all different kinds of trees and briars and all sorts of stuff and um, today I'm hoping to photograph them now what I've done if I bend down here because the camera will follow me here I've got a light box turned upside down with the light coming up because I'd like to get some photographs backlit um, some lovely images over this side I've got me indoor mini um, studio that I'm hoping to do some other images in could be a good day tell you what I'll do with you I'll make a start I'll make a start and then I'll let you know how I go on. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, click like and subscribe if you don't mind. See you soon. Bye for now. Hi guys, welcome back. So, this is the plan. Take an image. I was going to use my other tripod, which actually has an arm that comes across, but this setup is so heavy for it, it just keeps dipping. So. I'm struggling to find an angle at which I can get flat above the picture because obviously you need to be flat otherwise you lose the um, depth of field. Now this isn't flat this leaf, it's a little bit iffy. So if I come round here and take the image, let me just flick this out so I can see what I'm doing. Take the image up there a bit like so and that my friends if I can show you on the camera is not is not a bad image you know what I'm saying looks a bit brighter on the back of the camera than it does through the, the video um, but it's all good so that's the first one I'm hoping I'll get better as the time goes on but um, hey could be a good day speak to you in a bit bye for now welcome back guys okay so we're back to the um, northern red oak as you can see and what I want to try and do is create a macro shot that looks right through the leaf so you can pick all the sort of capillaries up, all the tiny veins leading into the big veins that lead into the tree itself. Um, I don't know if you know, but if you, if you stand close enough to a tree with a stethoscope on, put it on, you can hear the tree drawing up out of the uh, soil. Let's just see if we can get a macro shot of this. Oh yes. And, it, and it's like um, looking at lots of little veins um, running 
through the leaf, so to the stem. So you've got your little veins, you've got your bigger veins, you've got your stem that go to the tree, and then the tree has even bigger veins, doesn't it? Amazing, really. Nature's a wonderful thing. And there you have it. The Northern Red Oak Leaf. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. Hi guys, welcome back. So look what I've done here then. Let's just uh, whiz you around so you can see on here. So what I've got on here now is really the process of the um, Northern Red Oak. Green to brown to a beautiful red. I can't do the macro lens on this. So I'm gonna go for a wider angle lens, which is gonna be 24 to 105 lens. It should, in theory, do a similar job, but give me a bit more, um, I think it will give me a bit more focusing room. Um, I can, don't know if I'll able to get closer, but I will be able to focus um, further away, which might help. So, if you give me a wide angle, I might get a nice shot with all three images. A little bit bright. I'll just move that up to f11. Because at the moment we're on uh, f8, so I'll just move that up to f11. 100 ISO. The thing slides out, so you have to hold it a little bit, the lens. Because this is finger lens. It's a zoom lens, isn't it? Okay. Just move that a bit further down. That's lovely actually. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. If that's worked out well and it looks like it has, I'll, uh, I'll pop it up so you can have a look at it. Hey, speak to you in a bit. Bye for now. Hi guys, so I've done, I've done quite a few different uh, leaves from different trees at the moment but I thought you'd want to just have a look at these. These are the um, common beech leaf and I'm sort of trying to set them out in the process of when, from when they're green to when they're brown and, and it looks quite nice. If I just pick you up and bring you over here, whiz you around, you will see, if I do that, the colour of them. So you've got the green one, the yellow one, and the brown one. Um, and what I've tried to do is to um, is to um, capture that process, if you like, from from green to brown. Um, I'm hoping when I've done today, because this light box thing seems to be working quite well. I think I might put them all on, all the different shades, and, and take one last image of them all. Uh, I've no idea done yet, but that's what I might do, and it would be worth a look, I think. Anyway, see you in a bit. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we've virtually come to the end of today's session. I have to say I've absolutely loved it. I've, um, what I've decided to do for the end shot is to try and create a um, collage of all the leaves that I've collected up and that I've photographed and put them together from green in the middle going out. Let me just spin you around so you can have a look. See what you think. Looks okay, isn't it? I quite like it. 
um, whether the actual images of it will uh, will come out I don't know but it does look good um, there's just I think three or four individual leaves that I haven't done yet which are uh, dogwood beautiful red leaves I'm gonna do them in a minute so that's the end of the video look I hope you enjoyed it something a bit different isn't it? it's blowing a hoovy and lashing down with rain what a wonderful place to have very very lucky I am took a lot of work actually over the over the summer months to get this ready but I'm so pleased with it and you know I've come up with a bit of a setup that seems to have worked um hey tell you what I'll do with you see you on the flyby keep smiling bye for now <laughs>